tonic sulfur. And I like this term, tonic sulfur, because it gives me a good understanding of the first, the, the, the fifth, you know, the fourth and the fifth. That's do, fa, and so. If I split this out, I see it like this most of the time, tonic sulfur. Tonic being the do, which is the root, the home note, the strength of your music, that's the do. So being the dominant, and fa being the sub-dominant. Now we will come to these when we are beginning to make progressions and scales. You could see, have things like uh, I'm just playing them on first inversions. Yes, and the L in there usually is another very common minor scale, minor note that you tend to play. Tonic, the strength of the music, your do, so your dominant. La, it's a minor like. But this is what we're going to pay a little more attention to. So here's how we're going to do this. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, go. So we have them here also. We will walk with the key of C. The white key before two black keys. Turn this, consider this as your com comfortable middle, your midpoint where you're comfortable. Then you try to, you'll be training to score the octave above that. This is above that. Then at the same time, you'll be trying to come down an octave lower than that. What I mean is you're trying to do do re mi va sol la ti do comfortable scale, right? And then the next thing you're going to try to do is try to have do your singing with as many different voices that you can make up until you find out what's really beautiful coming out of you. If you record your voices, you will easily see the one you sound better in. So don't be stuck with the way you sing now. Try different variations of voices. If you have a mobile phone, in those days when we were singing, we used to use uh, cassettes. We have to press record and then we play, then we rewind and then we play. You don't have all that now. They've removed all those torture from your life. So if there's a mobile device, you can easily just record, playback, record, delete, playback, record, and even just delete and all that. You understand? And try the skills in very many texture, voice texture, right? And see on your own. Now this scale is the heart of everything we're going to do in this class. I'm going to put out something else which I picked out of the internet. This is probably uh, prepared by somebody. So I, I, I'm not showing you one that has harmony or kind of. I'm just showing you a typical example. Here we bring out a song with this notation. If every one of us Every one of you know how to sing this note. The moment somebody hands you something like this, it's easier for you to sing this song. If this is a treble that is given to you, treble part, you will easily sing this treble part correctly because the note has been given to you. If it's an alto part that is given to you in a notational format like this, you, you'll be able to quickly you know, sing it. If it is a, a tenor part, you'll be able to sing the tenor part. If it's a tenor part, you'll be able to sing the tenor part. It's easier for you to look at the scale. Look at the scale. Look at the scale. Look at the note. You know, know that you're having... So no matter how you do this, if we all are singing to the same key, this notation can guide your singing. And you don't have to start guessing what the note is. You've been given the note and it's easier for you to. And now the person on the keyboard, if the person sitting on the keyboard is asked to play this song, he doesn't also have to start trying to figure out what the notes are. He sees that it is... It's there, right? If the guy on the bass guitar is giving, is giving this same chord, give me, uh, let, me, let, let me have the bass. It's not... It's your, it's your key C. This is the 
let me take this and put it up there. So, okay, good. So, do, do, re. See where the next fret is. Do you have mi, fa, so, do, re, mi, va, so, do, re, mi, va, so, do, re, mi, va, so, mi, so, 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 mi, mi, va, 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 mi, re, do, va, 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 mi, re, do. So mi mi va 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 mi re do. So it's the same notation. So if we now give him his actual bass notes to play, and he knows where, where so is, he knows where mi is, he knows where fa is, it's going to be easy for him to find those here. So what we do is, for the singer, we tell you use your voice and get the scales. For the pianist, we want you to go. For the basses, we want you to go the same way. You'll be able to go do re mi va sol la ti do ti la so fa mi re do. You are playing you bass. You want to play bass? Okay. Uh, do is on bass, bass and keyboard. Everybody, you play every. You just go all of the instruments, right? Do the vocals, do the keyboards, do the do the bass. You know, spread your knowledge wise. I'm I'm going to present a rudiments and principles, and I just try to harmonize them between all of the instruments so that everything. The knowledge you pick in one, you translate it to the other. If we have a box guitar here right now, I probably will show you the same thing. You know, the box guitar. You know, do mi so, do mi so. It's six strings anyway, but something of this nature. And you strum. You have the same do, re, mi, fa, the open string, re, fa, so, la. Open string, so, la, ti, do. So in the same boss guitar that you strum, you have the same set of notes. You can play the full scales in these three strings. Bars, you can play with these four strings, you can play with three, whichever it, the case may be. Scale. We'll come to minor scales, we'll come to a lot of other scales later on, but we are going to just start with what is simple. So there's a second keyboard there, right? Uh -huh. So when I, I show you what I have to show you here, you could make your your practice that way. Uh, the only people that we might have challenge with are even those of them that might be joining us online. They have to get themselves keyboard. They can just uh, install some keyboard related apps on their phones. At least there are a few of them on Play Store, and then <laughs> and use that to do work band, uh, grand piano. Again with this board, bad is bass is there. Then you have, you know, so if your phone is fast enough too, you could do that. But if you use a Bluetooth speaker, you have latency. So you better use a cable if you're going to use an external speaker to hear. And you can actually hold your cords, you know. So if you don't have a keyboard, it's a good way to start. We didn't have all this when we were learning. Lucky you. Do, re. Mi ba so la ti do. Hear it in your head. Just hear it like as if it's a sound, and try to recreate it as if you're hearing in, hear it inside you, and then try to recreate the sound that you hear. Can you try it now? Can you try it? You need to be more confident. You have to be you have to be more confident than that. Let's go. Mm. 
Want to start from here and go up now? Let's go again. It really is not as high as you're making it to be. It's not. You, you over, you're kind of overshooting your octave when you try to do that. When you try to yell and scream. Rather than going, Do re mi va sol la ti do Do re mi va sol la ti do You're already going, ah! It's not really as high as that. So do one thing, right? Still sing, but don't, don't scream. Try, what, try not to yell or, or scream, right? Can we do that? Try not to yell or scream. Is that possible? All right, then, let's go. Sing out. Then take this door quietly and go up now. Go again. Breathe in, breathe out. What we are trying to do is mastering the note enough to be able to do something like I will touch a note, you will be able to tell me what note it is. Now I know you can see my uh, keyboard because I'm mirroring the screen to you and you can literally see what key I press. So if I ask you what key it is, uh, you, you will tell me what it is. But let's try to sing it then. Since it is that you are seeing my key on your screen, Right? What do? So, so try to feel your do re mi va so. So what do so? Try to get to it. Let me see where you can find that. All right, let's go again. Take your take your eyes off the screen and use your ears. It's your ears you're training, not your eyeballs. So don't try to cheat. You don't make any. You don't make progress in life by trying to cheat. Trying to spy on the keys doesn't improve you. Pay attention. Listen. As you listen, try to see if you you can hit the note and get it right. Right. If you get it wrong the first time, you can keep going, keep going, and you can correct it. Let's go now. I'm just hearing a few voices. You're making random. <laughs> you're making random guesses. Do so do mi do fa do re do so. I've not gone out of the first five notes. I've not gone out of the first five notes. I'm still within the first five notes. So let's get, let's 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 do that again. Want to go? Listen to the note. Are you getting the sound? You're high sounding. So, 
So the fa is what you're missing most of the time. is lower. You know why it sounded like a fa to you? You sang it was a la. It's because both the fa and the la they belong to the subdominant chord. So usually when you're harmonizing your alto and your tenor, right? You usually you sing that note. Like do you being an alto singer? As I sounded a la she tends to be hearing a fa because that's what she naturally will be singing perhaps when she's singing her alto part. But the actual note here is higher. So you listen. Try to make like your humming or whatever, it's getting to reach that note where it is. And then creating the words with it. See the ladder on the screen. Do, re, mi, va, sol, la, ti, do. See that on the screen. So, do, la, do. You get that? All right, let's go. Do, re, do, mi, do, fa, do, so. Can we do that? Are we ready? Okay, let's go. Don't get too excited. Be very conscious of your notes. All right, let's go back again. One more time, go. Okay, and we're going to make it a little faster now. The same thing, right? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, let's go. Let's go again. One more time. Let's go. Are you ready? One, two, go. Go again. Like I said, don't shout, don't scream, or you go off, you'll be, you'll be ruining it. What is most important is getting the note to sound like what you're hearing at the exact same pitch without shake. Don't, don't shake it, don't vibrate it. I just want you to hit the note, right? So I don't want the screaming and the yelling. I want the actual note. What you did there, well, close to, but was just yelling. So we can't really pick out music from that. That's like screaming a note. So we want to sing the note. We don't want to just yell out a note. Are we ready? Let's go. Better, much better. Can we go back again? Can we do that one more one more time? Let's go now. Don't bring it too low or you'll be falling down to a fa. Want to go? Let's go again. Can we do it again? Go. Let's go slowly now. Want to go?
Yeah. <laughs> you are lost because we are coming down the scale. Meanwhile, if you whatever it is that you're doing, if if you keep playing around with the scale, you're most likely, you know, to get it perfect. Do you understand? You're most likely to get it perfect. All right. It takes practice. You keep doing. Uh, usually when we start, we ask the students to, which I think some of you would have already have done that, do, just the five notes, I'm sure you're already able to do that. What I would, what would I like to confirm is your speed perhaps, or whether you can do that with both hands, your left hand, your right hand, and both hands. And if you're on the bass guitar, you should be able to do the same thing on the bass guitar. This is your fret section where your fret starts. You normally will have a dot here and a dot here. You have this dot, your first marker here on your fretboard. These are your fretboards. You have another marker here. So if you use that marker and look at the middle string, this is a five string guitar. If it's a four string guitar, to be slightly different. Uh, in terms of, I mean, you might have one string off, but everything else is the same. The scaling is the same. So, you start from that middle point there, that gives you your Do. The next marking point there gives you your Re. Then you come down a string. The note, the fret before where the mark is, is your Mi. The fret where the mark is, your Fa. The next one where the next mark is, your Sol. Where you have your Mi, spread down, your La. Then you have Futo, space that, your T here, and then over here you have your Do. So you have your Do, T, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, T, Do. So you follow that up. That's where you have your skill. The very same skill. If you're playing the drums, if you're playing the drums, we sometimes might tune your drums to different tones depending on how the music goes. But you consider your snare drum like like an octave, like an octave do. Do you understand that? And and your bass, your bass drum as your lower do. Let's say we are now playing. Boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, boom. So if we were to write this for you, for example, I'll probably write a low do. But if I tune, if you tune this with a drum set, then you have that too. So you're trying to bring your drum in, you know. Tenor, that's why you call your, listen, treble tom, alto tom, tenor tom. Because if you're holding your full scale like that, uh, there, is, there is a treble tom, there's the alto, there's the tenor. That's just giving you an idea of how we might, we might want to take the same sort of conversations, you know, and translate it to something like write a beat, and a drummer can translate that and understand that as a beat which you can play. So these notes are going to help us a whole lot, and they will do a lot, make a lot of difference for us. So, so for this class, just for this class, we will try to do your refresher in terms of these five notes, your one, two, three, four, and your fifth. Huh? And see how you can angle your hand like not like not not resting it on the keyboard. This is not what you want to do. And this is not what you want to do. You're not gonna keep your fingers all straight like that, like uh, as though they are epileptic or something, and all that. You're, you're going to just cop it over. So it's easy to move the muscles down. You, it's easy to move it down that way or up and the rest. So you just cop it. It's just like you're just putting it. 
So this are this is what you're trying to do. So here now you're going to try to your left hand also. And then you're going to also try both. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you paying attention? Are you observing what I'm saying? You can see me from your screens there and I know that. Do you, do you get that? And then we'll do the full scale running. This one will do that in the next clap. I know some of you have probably not even tried the key before. Some of you who tried it before might have forgotten what you did. But alongside doing that, try to sound the notes while you do that. You know why? So that you can get used to how it sounds. You want to use it to make music. You want to use it to make music, right? You need to master how it sounds. Today, a female lady, a of golden sun. Be a name I call myself for a long, long way to run. So I need a home and trade, love and not to fall asleep. Today, I drink a jam and pray, that will bring us back. 